are now joined by KSNT political analyst Dr. Bob Beatty. Thanks for joining us tonight. Good to be here. So the 2022 election for Kansas governor is 18 months away still, but like it or not, the campaigns have actually started already. So to talk about it, we are going to look, take a look at um, some digital ads tonight. So what can you tell us about some of the more prominent ones that you've seen? Well, right. It's, it's very early. It's ridiculously early, actually. But when when you think about it, the candidates are actually raising money. They're spending most of their time raising money. But political parties like to keep the campaign going. So they're really looking at the digital space. So we're seeing lots of digital ads. Let's take a, an, a look at a digital ad from the Democratic Governors Association. Sam knows how to make those wise, hard decisions. Glad to be here uh, in support of Governor Brownback. Sam is the CEO and I'm the CEO. So they're definitely having some fun with this ad, but does it show already what will be the key strategy for Governor Laura Kelly? Yeah, this is a, is a funny ad, and what I really like about this ad is that those, that's actual footage from Night of the Living Dead, one of the greatest horror movies of all time, and that's because the movie actually went into the public domain. Anybody can use it. But yeah, we're seeing the, the Democrats uh, really approach to this governor election with Jeff Collier and Derek Schmidt, of course, supporting Sam Brownback, the former governor. And the reason for that is Sam Brownback had the lowest approval ratings in modern Kansas history of any politician. So they want to remind people of that, and they're doing it through this uh, digital ad. Let's also take a look at a Republican ad against Laura Kelly. Other states have already started giving out money, and no one is giving me a clear answer. So what is Laura Kelly doing about it? I honestly cannot give you a clear answer on that because I've not talked uh, with labor. Governor Kelly, it's time to do your job. So tell us, is this an effective strategy going after Governor Kelly for problems in the Labor Department? Well, yeah, it is actually a very, very effective strategy because this has been in the news. People know that things haven't gone well with, uh, with labor and unemployment. However, the big problem for the Republicans here is that we're still 18 months away and that what Governor Kelly could do is, and what she's trying to do, and, and actually bills have been passed, is to fix the problem. So here the ad is saying, hey, governor, do your job, fix this. And that really sort of hands her an issue to come back in, let's say, a year and say, I did fix it. So right now it may be very effective, but in a year, I'm not so sure if it will be as effective if she fixes the problem. Okay. Now to shift gears just a little bit, this week we learned that 2018 governor candidate Chris Kobach is running for Kansas Attorney General. Now some Republicans actually aren't happy with this news. Why is that? Well, the biggest problem for Republicans is they're afraid that Chris Kobach won't be a very effective candidate in a general election because this is what happened in 2018. He ran for governor and he lost to Laura Kelly. So there have been, has been some pushback from some Republicans saying they think that, that Kobach being the nominee could put this into play and that Democrats could win. This actually happened in 2006, I'm showing my age, when the exact same thing happened. An unpopular Republican ran and got defeated by a Democrat, which is actually pretty rare for attorney general. So some Republicans are a little worried about Kobach possibly repeating what happened in 2006. And there's still a lot more things that can happen in the next 18 <laughs> Only 18 months. months, that's yeah. right. And we'll see you back here again when there's oh. some more news to talk about. Sure. Thanks for joining us tonight.